Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with Zebu Nation. This is Wings of Glory, starring LAFC, and we are back for our very first game of the season, the regular season, the MLS season, all of that stuff. As you can see here, we're getting ready to start our second season in MLS and, uh, you know, thing, we're, we're feeling pretty good. Kind of a lackluster preseason, but other than that, we're feeling, feeling fine. Let's take a look at Major League Soccer season preview. Where are we at? All right, so our first season, we were finished. We were predicted to finish down here in the 1,000 to 1 category, you know, 22nd, 23rd in the league. But after last year, they bumped us up to 15th place. 250 to 1 odds to win it all. Look at up here, LA Galaxy, 3 to 1 odds. I don't know about that. Toronto FC, 7 to 2 odds. Portland, 9 to 2 odds. Interesting group up there, considering Toronto and Portland have been battling it out for the last two seasons. They've, I mean, I guess it what, I guess this is what, uh, what are they? think of as the champion are they talking supporter shield here i guess they're talking supporter shield here i don't know it's hard to tell but anyway we're not predicted too high so we'll try and bust those expectations and speaking of expectations uh wait let's go back let's go back what are the board's expectations reach the wild card so their expectations have catapulted They've gone from, you know, just don't finish last or do finish last. They didn't care, honestly, last season to, okay, now you got to reach the wild card. So we got some work to do to, to, to reach that. I mean, it is our minimum expectation, but now that the board has that as the, as the expectation, that puts a little pressure on it. So before it was just, you know, no pressure, but this is what we want to do. Now we got pressure. We need to finish uh, in the wild card at minimum. So that we will try to do. And here's the team that's going to try to do it. It's basically the same team as last year and in the preseason. But we're making a tiny tweak. Just a little bit of a tweak. Not necessarily in the formation because the formation is pretty much identical. But in the tactics going on, we've moved... Carlos Vela over to his inside forward on the right wing that is his most comfortable position he's been playing pretty much out of position as a striker even though he's you know our best striker he's our best player no matter where he plays but um you know we're going to put him in his most comfortable position which is inside forward on the right and then we're going to move Juan Roa up to wing back which is just, you know, just a half step forward from where he was as a fullback. But we're going to put him on attack. So now we're going to basically have our two best offensive players, Roa and Vela, on the right-hand side. And they're going to hopefully be working in tandem down that right-hand side. So that's kind of our new tactic we're going to give a, give a try and hopefully, you know, pay some dividends. The other changes we got going on is we got... Uh, Hamilton up here who's taken the place of Rodrigo who's still kind of fighting off an injury so we're you know he's our new man if you saw our preseason spectacular you saw that he was pretty much our only signing on the offseason even though he wasn't really a signing we got him from the waiver draft everybody else actually everybody we signed this offseason was 23 or under so it's basically just a youth intake uh, in the offseason but he was our most experienced guy that we did get in the offseason. So Hamilton is going to be our target man up there. And then the only other change is we had to bring in Chavez here as our left fullback. And Chavez is one of our academy players that we brought up last season. And I wanted to show you his his development over the, over the offseason. So starting in December all the way to where we are now in March... These are the stats that he's improved in. So he's improved in marking, tackling, penalty taking, for whatever reason. 
anticipation, concentration, determination, positioning. And then his physicals have all improved a little bit. You know, stamina, pace, fitness, balance, and acceleration. So, you know, it's mostly small increments other than determination, which he's gained a full two points in determination, right? No, just one point. So he started at 10, went all the way up to 11. So that's pretty good. Everything else has been like minor increments, you know, maximum of one. But that kind of shows you the, the long development process that you got to go through. Like last season when I looked at putting this guy in, I just was like, oh man, I don't know. He's got a lot of potential, but he's, he's just not a functional player. Now he's almost a functional player. His crossing still is no good for a fullback, so he's going to be playing defensive fullback. But his marking is almost there. 10 marking is kind of the minimum that I expect from a defensive player. So he'll he'll be there. Hopefully by the end of the season he'll have uh, 10 marking. He's got 11 tackling. That's, you know, not good. But it's good enough that he can play and be a functional player. So hopefully, you know, hopefully guys like this, the more playing time we give them, the more rapid development they're going to have, especially at his age. Where he's only, you know, 19. Is he even 19? How old is this guy? Yeah. Okay, I was right. He's 19. So that's uh, that's the team we're going with. We're going to submit that team. And, of course, we are playing Toronto FC in our very first game. Here they are over here. They've made quite a few changes in their roster. They still have Giovinco and Altidore. Up front, Vasquez. They got Michael Bradley. They got a really, really good team. It's kind of a funky formation they're going with. But they got a really good team. Here's our team, Stefan. We saw Chavez and Roa at the fullback positions. We're going Hector and Watts at central defense. Midfield is still the same, although we have flip-flopped Martinez and Delgado. We got Martinez on the left now as the box-to-box -box midfielder. So he's going to go forward, and I didn't want him bumping into Vela, who's now going inside, right? So Delgado's going to stay back, and Martinez is going to go forward and help out Covea on the left-hand side. So hopefully, hopefully that gives us a balanced offense. Um, all right, team talk. Let's go. Um, we're huge underdogs. No pressure to succeed. Go out there and show everyone what you got. Okay, Al Martinez like that. Nobody else really cared for that. Oh, look at this. Uh, Seth Craig from the American Soccer Post approaches you in the tunnel with a rope. You've left Rodrigo out. Is that due to his recent injury? Yes, of course. Um, absolutely, he's not ready. Get out of here. Uh, it's always nice to start with a win and get points on the board to build up momentum. Are you confident you can get off to a good start? Mm, I believe the team is developing well. <sighs> sure, we'll give him that. Whatever. All right, so we're playing away from home at Toronto. I don't know the name of their stadium. I probably should. I played <sighs> FM16. I played in Toronto for like 30 years or something. 20 years maybe. But anyway, I never learned the name of their stadium. We are in the uh, the gray uniform. There's Chavez. There's our youngster with a nice tackle. Kind of blindly sends the ball forward, but, you know, good defensive play. That's what he's there for. So, yeah, we are in the gray Nike Pro Combat uniforms. And, uh, you know, I kind of like Toronto FC's uniforms this season. They're, they're a little less generic than they were in previous versions of FM, so that's nice. I think a lot of the uniforms are looking a lot better this season, just from all the leagues around the world. The new match engine and graphics. Uh-oh, Giovinco with the free kick. Thankfully, no penalties. Gotta watch Giovinco. He, uh, he scores on free kicks more than anybody else in the history of MLS, I think. Definitely more than anybody currently in the league. He is a free kick master, so we got to watch out for him. Uh, Toronto made the uh, MLS Cup in the real uh, MLS this season. 
They just uh, qualified this week. So hopefully we can... Er, I, don't know what I, I don't know what I was about to say there. Hopefully we can do that, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I just say things. I'm just trying to talk. Anyway, Morrow has the ball at midfield for Toronto. We have had almost no highlights at all, if any. So we got we to gotta work this out. It's Carlito. Carlito's way. Gets it to Vasquez. Vasquez to Osario. Takes a shot. Stefan with his first save of the game. It's a good one, but it gives them a corner kick. Far side. Osario sends it in. Hector heads it out. Hamilton playing against his old teammates. Boots it downfield for Delgado. Wow, Michael Bradley. Nice defensive play. It's going to be hard to get past him. Honestly. I've told my team to play down the right-hand side, but so far it is not working. We're getting absolutely no highlights. That's what I wanted to avoid was Altidore hanging out on the free kicks. You know, he doesn't he doesn't score like he probably should, but he is very dangerous on set plays because he's so big and strong that he can just do stuff like that. All right. Here we go. Free kick. This is our first free kick. Vela to Kovea. Kovea looking for a... Sh Come on, buddy. What was that? What was that? All right, what are our instructions right now? We are standard. Go down the right-hand side. I mean, I guess this is, this is okay for now. We don't want to get carried away. We'll just see if we can uh, run out the first half and maybe get an equalizer. It's another free kick. Vasquez... Wow, Delgado, nice nice defensive play, but Carlito gets it back, takes another shot. Stefan is suddenly uh, feeling under fire here. Now Carlito's taking the corner for some reason. Osario seemed to be doing pretty good. He sends it short. Hector heads it out. Looks like Moro's going to track it down for Toronto, but there ends the highlight, so that's good. 40 minutes down in the first half. So we're going to have to make some adjustments in the second half, I think. Our ratings look decent. No, that's their ratings look decent. Our ratings look horrific. Watts, Hector, Vela, Hamilton. Just, those are our best players, I guess. Well, I mean, Hamilton's probably not one of our best players. But other than that, those are our three best players with just terrible ratings. So we got to do something about that. We're going to have to yell at these boys at halftime. All right, let's uh, take a look at the analysis. Vela has been quite error-prone today. Okay, they want us to sub him out. No, probably not. Asario's getting too much space. We'll close him down. Abdul Salam is an accomplished crosser. We'll close him down. Pep talk. All right, we're going to get assertive, which we never do. Um... I expect to see much better showing from you. All right, that's good. Hopefully that uh, lights a fire under these boys tactically. What are we going to do? Um, I guess we'll control the ball. Is that something we should probably do? I don't know. Work the ball in the box. Is that what we should do with the target man, though? I think with the target man, we should probably hit crosses. Seems like a better idea. But do you want to do that when you're on control? Probably not. So we'll work the ball in the box. Ah, tactics, man, tactics. All right. Don't want to get stuck in because we're getting so many penalties as it is. So we'll just go with this, see what's up, see if we can just... Get a goal. Come on, people. Chavez up to Cavea. Cross the field to Vela. See if he can get it forward. Oh, he doesn't get it forward to his man. He tries to hit Hamilton, and they misconnect. All right, here we go. Roa. Free kick. Sends it forward. Altador is there. No problem. Looks like Martinez is going to chase it down easily. Gets it to Roa. We got to reset this offense here. Caldwell. Don't really want you to have the ball for that reason. Now here's Giovinco on the run. He gets it stolen though. Delgado. 
Gets it forward to Hamilton. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. He's tackled pretty roughly there. Um, they're just going to boot it for Giovinco. He's going to be better than everybody, and he's going to s not score. Wow. Usually when the little guy gets uh, open like that, it's, it's pretty much a sure goal. Not this time. <sighs> Look at these ratings. Hamilton and Vela. All right, we're going to have to do something about those dudes. At the 60-minute mark, probably move Vela back to striker, I guess. This experiment did not work out. Hecht, uh, Watts with a 5.9. That's just make me want to throw up. That's so bad. Golly. Our whole team is playing so bad. Maybe we can yell at them again. Um, Vela's injured. All right, that takes care of that question then. We'll bring in Pacheco. Change him back to a winger. Support. Kavea will put you on attack. Um, yeah, I guess that, that does that. So that's no good. Have Vela get injured. What kind of injury does he got? Potential head injury, so concussion or something probably. I forget what save it was. I think it was my other save that I got going on. Anyway, here's Roa. Corner kick on the near side. That was an awful camera angle, but Delgado has it with a shot well over the net. My other save, we had a guy with like a fractured skull. And he was out for like 6 to 12 months, one of those kind of things. So it was not a nice injury. So hopefully we don't have anything like that going on with Vela. Hopefully it's just, you know, a gashed head or something. All right, 72 minutes down. Jeez. This, they're they're just shutting down on us. They're just sh we're gonna have to go to attacking and have to close down more. Not, I'm not gonna get stuck in. We'll go fluid. We'll see what that does. See if that can uh, shake some things loose. Then we'll yell at them again. Is there any? Uh, oh yeah, we should get Watts out of there. He is just. He's just disgusting at the moment. All right. Make a change. Uh, we got Haglin on the bench, so he's a pretty good pretty good option. Get him out of there. I mean, I'd kind of like to sub out Hector because Hector's going to get tired. But, you know, we're going to take the choice between a guy with a 5.9 rating. I'm going to take him out every single time. It's just gross. All right, now we're going to yell at them, and we're going to tell them to you know, demand more. Harumph. Demand more. 80 minutes. Toronto, I don't know what they're doing. They're just shutting it down. We can't really see what they're doing because there's no highlights. You know, I don't know if they're holding possession or if they're just blasting the ball downfield or what they're doing. Here's Mora with a throw in. That was terrible. Threw it right to Chavez, Chavez to Hector. Hector to Caldwell, back to Chavez. He boots it forward to Cavea. Let's start the attack here. Ah, come on, Cavea. What was that, my friend? Terrible, that's what it was. All right, so it kind of looks like Toronto is wasting time. Just, just bopping the ball around. Santana gets it forward to Altidore with the shot. Stefan makes the easy save, but 85 minutes down. Is there anything anything we can do? I guess get stuck in is our last last best option. Here's Haglin with the header over the goal. 88 minutes already. This game has just flown by, and it has not been good. They scored their one goal, and they're like, we're out. Peace out. Um, 90 minutes. Got five minutes of stoppage for our injuries. There's Hector to Haglin. Boots it forward. Hamilton, can he beat his old teammates? He cannot. That three-man defensive line on the back has really shut us down. I don't know. We're going to have to figure out something for that kind of formation if we see it again. Cesario, Sandoval, Giovinco gets it forward. That was a terrible pass, and Hector intercepts. 
But Bradley keeps it in. 91 minutes. Oh, there's Chavez. Almost another steal. He's played pretty well. He just let Moro sneak through. There's Santana. Not Carlos, but Alex Santana. All right. It's lots of highlights going on. Which is okay, I guess, but I'd like there to be more of our highlights. Hagland. I think we're going to have to start Hagelin. He's played much better. That was a terrible shot by Giovinco. I don't know if that was supposed to be a pass or what, but that was awful. Oh, 94 minutes, 30 seconds left in the game. Here's Stefan. There's just not much we can do when they shut it down like this. Vinga loses it to Pacheco. Pacheco tries to get it forward to Hamilton. He's got it. Back to Pacheco. Can he get past? He gets past his defender. He gets the cross in. There's Martinez. Oh, they. Martinez. What kind of header was that, my man? That's why I like sending him box to box and getting him on the attack is because he can head the ball, but, I mean, not at that particular situation. So, um, not a great way to start the season, i got to be honest with you. Dressing room. Team talk. Not happy. Get out of here. Analysis. Do we dare look at the analysis? I mean, look at this. 6.5 for Roa. <sighs> Hector. Ch I mean, Chavez played okay. One of our better rated players, but just our attacking players. And Watts. Watts with a 5.9. I can't remember the last time an MLS player had a 5.9 rating. That's like... That's like lower league stuff right there. That's just grotesque from our team captain. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to figure that out. But in the meantime, look at this. Look at this schedule. The MLS always packs the front end of their schedule. Oh, let's check out this Vela injury first. Concussion, two to three weeks. All right, that's fine. I mean, it's not good, but it's fine. Uh, schedule. Where'd this schedule go? So, yeah, MLS always packs the front half of their schedule. So, look at this. We got, you know, one, two, three, four days we play Vancouver. And then in two days we go straight back to Salt Lake. And then three days later we play Seattle again. It's just, you know, it's, it's going to be a struggle this first week of the season. So, hopefully we don't end up with three losses due to it. Toronto, Vancouver. I mean, the travel is also pretty horrific. Not as bad as last season where we were just bouncing back and forth between East Coast and West Coast. But, uh, yeah. So we're going to have to work. We have to do some serious work in this first couple of weeks of the season not to start out as bad as last season. So when are we going to come back? That's a good question. I guess we'll come back, you know, 10 games or so or whatever is interesting whenever something interesting happens we'll come back and see what's up with the mls will we do the quarter season mid-season stuff i don't know i kind of like to play that by ear it does work out though because that gets us like you know five videos a week and then you can do the playoffs next week kind of thing so we might do that i don't know we'll figure it out but uh that's it that's it so until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.